This is Mac Voices TV. This edition of Mac Voices TV at Macworld 2011 is brought to you by Smile, the makers of PDF Pen and Text Expander, tools for your Mac, iPhone, and iPad. Download free demos of these and more at smilesoftware.com. Hi, I'm Chuck Joyner, and this is Mac Voices TV at Macworld 2011 in San Francisco. We're just outside the Smile booth, mainly because we can't get in the Smile booth because there are too many people. Talking to Greg Scowen of Smile about uh, what they've been up to in the last few months. Greg, it's good to have you back on Mac Voices TV. Chuck, it's always a pleasure. I think this is becoming an annual event now. Something like that. I'm delighted. Absolutely, absolutely. So Smile has been busy the last couple months, but not necessarily with new products this time around. No, that's true. We've, we've mostly been doing incremental updates to what we already have, and we've been prepping everything and going through the process of getting our products into the Mac App Store. So that's been occupying our time. Yeah, and the Mac App Store has been a little controversial as far as just as Apple's approach to it. Why did Smile feel it was so important to get in there? And, and the obvious question, should I buy, buy my products straight from Smile or should I buy them in the App Store? Sure. Well, we felt that the App Store would be a place where um, customers would go to buy software, but not necessarily all customers. So um, you know, people who've got a new Mac, who are exposed to the Mac for the first time, are going to find the App Store icon in their dock. Um, you know, users who are sort of early adopter upgraders to 10.6.6 will have it right away, but then there are you know, a ton of other users who will be buying from us direct. So we're happy to support both sets of customers, and we're delighted that we've managed to get PDF Pen, PDF Pen Pro, and Disk Label into the store on day one. And, and, and how, I mean, we all know that if you buy in the App Store, there are automatic updates. You don't have to think about it. If I, if I install it now as I traditionally have, you have updating capabilities within your software. Is there a better place to buy? Um, it depends on what you're looking for. Um, you know, we certainly offer direct updates to our direct purchase customers, and one modest advantage for direct purchasing is that when we release the software, it's ready and available. It doesn't have to go through the App Store review process, which can take an indeterminate amount of time. Um, you know, I, I, I won't speculate on how long it takes because it varies by product and it varies by what various issues Apple cares for us to address. Yeah, that's that's an interesting point. That yeah, and and especially when you start looking at events like MacWorld, when there are a lot of updates to things coming out or a lot of new products, that may increase the approval time. Sure, I think that's true. And I mean, let me be fair to the Mac App Store too, and give some of its advantages. Um, you know, you can have multiple iTunes Store account, or well, the same iTunes Store account on multiple computers, and you'll have a seamless install and upgrade experience on all of those computers. Um, you know, and with our direct purchase stuff, you'd have to enter your name and serial number on each of the computers. So I can see where there's some advantage to that. On the direct purchase side, we can offer you coupons, we can offer you cross-sell discounts, none of which are available in the Mac App Store. So I think that each individual user is going to evaluate which works best for me, and we're happy to offer them both. I think that's the best of both worlds for us. Now, since we were here last, I think you've, you've, you've released a number of upgrades to at least my two favorites, PDF Pen Pro and Text Expander, but probably to everything. Can you just walk us through the product line right now and give us some of the highlights of, of what the newest updates are? Oh, absolutely. So we released PDF Pen 5 in September, um, and the major headline new features, the biggest thing I think we added was uh, redaction, uh, the ability to go ahead and specify a, a text string that you want to get rid of in your document. So let's say that you have a contract or an agreement that has your credit card number or your bank account number, and you need to send it on to somebody, but you don't want the sensitive information in it. The traditional approach to this is to make a big black rectangle. Um, unfortunately, underneath that big black rectangle is your searchable text. So in PDF Pen, we've built this feature called Search and Redact, which will put the big black rectangle, but it will actually remove the text from the document. You'll never be able to search for it. You'll never be able to find it. It's gone. Uh, so that's big, and we also added uh, a number of image manipulation things for scanning, so you can de-skew um, and you can color correct when you scan. Uh, so we think these things are super handy in PDF Pen, and we've improved its large document handling capacity quite a bit. A text expander is the one that I spend more time in because oh. it, it's amazing how much time, and after you start doing it, I, I got to tell you, it's addictive because I keep thinking, okay, now what can I, what can I 
text expand? What can I create a snippet for that will let me save time without a lot of extra data entry? What's new in Text Expander? Well, so we talked about Text Expander 3 during WWDC, and it added uh, fill in the blanks as one of its headline items. So you can specify a snippet that has blanks for like a name or a product brings up a window and allows you to enter, just like a sort of HTML form, what you want. And it's ephemeral, it's in the moment, as soon as you hit return, it blats everything into your document, just as you would expect from Text Expander. Um, since then, we've worked to improve our uh, handling of doing capitals at the beginning of sentences and also doing uh, double cap suppression at the beginning of sentences. And soon, possibly as early as next week, we're going to add the ability to suppress double caps anywhere in a word. I'm sorry, anywhere in the sentence. So any word in the sentence as opposed to only the first word. So we're working to improve the utility functions of Text Expander. And then moving down a bit further, we're working to add sort of up and running tutorial to help people build their snippets when they get started with Text Expander. So you should see that from us in the coming months. So you're just going to make it easier for me and tougher to ignore. Exactly, <laughs> absolutely. We want to get as many people hooked on Text Expander as is humanly possible because we use it every day, you use it, and we want everyone to use it. And you know, that's a key phrase, and it's, it could be viewed as a marketing pitch, but it is an everyday kind of product. Once you start to use it, it's integrated into what you do. Uh -huh, absolutely. Oh, and then also the another thing we added recently is automated backup of your snippets. I mean, because it's an everyday product, because it's something that is just absolutely critical to your life, you don't want a hard drive glitch or Dropbox being down for a little bit or something on the server going wrong to ruin your snippet library. So we've added backup and restore, and then there's also a preference panel so you can specify the interval and the location for your automatic backups. And so if you're a Text Expander user, I strongly recommend you check it out because it'll give you that just extra peace of mind. Greg, I have a feeling we'll be back here next year talking about the, all the cool new stuff in all of your products. But oh, absolutely, I look forward to it. Well, I want to thank you uh, again for being a sponsor of uh, Mac Voices TV at Macworld 2011. We really appreciate it. We're glad uh, you help us make it happen. Excellent, thank you very much. I appreciate the time. And oh my God, the, well the website, the, the Mac App Store is the Mac App Store, but yeah. the website is. Is smilesoftware.com and fully functional demo versions are available of all of our products. So download them, give them a try, and send, a, send us an email if you have any questions. Perfect, Greg, thanks so much. All right, thank you. I'm Chuck Joyner, we'll be back with more again soon from the show floor at Macworld 2011 in San Francisco. Until then, thanks for watching. Voices TV is part of the Mac Voices Group and a member of Mac Level 10.